So, why does popcorn jump when it bursts? Why is this jump associated with a characteristic sound? Fun aside, popcorn is a true scientific phenomenon, which requires interaction between elastic matter and fluid matter. With the researcher Alexandre Ponomarenko, we have studied popcorn dynamics at the Hydrodynamics Laboratory of Ecole Polytechnique, also known as LADIX. We have carried out a series of experiments dealing with what we call the physics of popcorn. To observe the popcorn transformation, which only lasts some hundreds of a second, we have used high-speed cameras taking tens of thousands of pictures per second. From this experiment, we have made three observations. First, we have confirmed that all popcorn kernels pop at the same temperature, that is 180 degrees Celsius, whatever the size and shape. We have built a simple and efficient model justifying this property. Then, we have observed that the jump is triggered by the growing of the starch from which starts after the kernel has been broken. This jump is thus mainly regulated by the compression and release of expanding starch, which acts like a spring. This produces a sort of leg which propulses the kernel into the air. This jump can be some millimeters to several centimeters high. Third observation, the sound pop can appear about one-tenth of a second after the fracture of the exter external hull of the kernel. This means that the sound is not directly related to this fracture. We suggest the role of the resonance of water vapor in a cavity formed by the opening of the kernel. Popcorn is an interesting object for biomechanics because it displays characteristics independently observed in the plants and animal kingdoms. Popcorn bursts like some plants which break for dispersing their seeds. And it jumps like an animal which uses his muscle for a leap. This research work has also helped us to find clues in the description of a recent discovery in fluid mechanics, the explosion of Leiden frost droplets. More generally, my research deals with familiar objects, such as trees resisting to the wind or flags converting wind energy. And my experiment led to unexpected but very concrete applications. In the case of popcorn, the food industry could of course optimize its production and help sellers to make energy savings. Mm -hmm.